Hello! So you found a study in a news article, and it's perfect for your essay. Should you just quote it as a source within a source? That's not a great idea, because no matter what news article you found it in, it is in effect second-hand information. Like any retelling, details get left out and the complete findings truncated. Let's start with the National Post article called Long COVID is Real. The article references a UK study which found that as many as 25% of long-haul COVID patients feel better after vaccinations. There is a hyperlink to this information. But the link takes us to a second news article, this one from the CBC. So now we know that the National Post article was actually third-hand information, a news story of a news story of a study. Moreover, the CBC article mentions that the UK study is a preprint, not yet peer-reviewed or published. Are we as confident in the information knowing this? And yet the National Post article presents this information as if it were published fact. Clicking on this link brings up the actual study. So going to the source is an essential part of your research. As we just saw, News sources can leave out important details of a study. They can also oversimplify things by omitting qualifications to findings or taking them out of context. You need to be the judge. But how do you find the entire study? Not all news articles link to the full text. A BBC article called When the Best Way to Take Notes is by Hand mentions a study by Pam Mueller. Clicking on the link takes us to the original article. Although the abstract and references are provided, the actual article isn't. The easiest way of finding the full text is to copy and paste the title of the article into the Laurier Library catalog. The library owns the article, and you can read it by clicking on the link. But what if you can't find it that way? You can request it from other libraries. The online form is on the library homepage under the Services tab. You will receive the study by email, but allow one to two weeks for it to get to you. Okay, so now you know how to get a study once you find its title, but sometimes even the title is not provided. When this happens, you need to use your online detective skills. This CTV news story about long COVID discusses a review article by a group of researchers. To find it, I copied and pasted the lead researcher's name as well as the journal title into Google. The first item in my results list turned out to be the right article. Clicking on the PDF brought up the full text. But what if that strategy didn't work? Oftentimes, by Googling a researcher's name, you can find a list of his or her publications. In this case, the lead researcher has a Google Scholar profile. By clicking on the year of publication, his most recent articles appear at the top. This researcher has a distinctive name, so it was easy to find. Adding the researcher's university or institution is a useful strategy when the name is more common. Copying and pasting keywords from the study or its findings can also help. And keep in mind that Laurier librarians are always ready to help if you need it.